Hi there everyone and welcome back to a brand new video here on the JB Visuals YouTube channel and in this video I'm actually going to be talking to you about something that I regularly do here on the channel. Now this video is actually going to be explaining about how I actually like to schedule my videos. Now of course when you actually finish um, creating your video of course you've got to film well after you've filmed your video you then got to edit it you then got to export it uh, from the software and then of course one of the other things is then upload it to YouTube, do all the writing, all the theory and you know all the you know written bits and that and then after you've done like your end screen and your YouTube uh, channel uh, video thumbnail then of course it's that time where you then have to um, publish your video or even schedule it because Obviously what I like to do is I like to schedule my videos uh, so they're actually ready uh, to be viewed in the next day or so or even a couple of days and that. So what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm actually going to be telling you why I like to schedule videos instead of just publish them straight away and just sharing a few other little tips along the way. So the first thing is when I actually finish uploading the video and it's all been edited and that I like to actually go into the um, scheduling and then actually choose a, a valuable time. So you have the the four 15 minute segments. So you have uh, the o'clock, which is bang on the hour. You've then got a quarter past, which is 15 minutes past the hour. You then got half past, which is half an hour. And then of course, uh, quarter two. So you've got the, um, the four time zones. So that's why I actually like to um, use them instead of uh, publishing them at maybe example like 16:31. I actually like to do it in the um, in the in the proper uh, time areas. So yeah, that's what I like to actually um, do. So that's actually one of them. And one of the other parts that I really, really that really helps me is to understand when my audience is active. And I'm actually going to be showing you this on the computer. So I'll be uh, going through all the different settings and just giving you a bit more detail why I, I like to have a little look at it because it will help me understand uh, of when to schedule future videos. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get off the camera and head over to the computer and we will talk about this in further detail. And so here we are then, so we are actually here on the actual channel itself. So as you may know, you can actually see I've already got quite a few videos scheduled uh, ready uh, to be watched in the next few days or possibly weeks which you can actually see um, over here and like I was just saying just a few moments ago about uh, the audience how I actually like to check uh, when I want my videos to go online so what we actually want to do is actually want to go onto the analytics which is uh, over here underneath content and above comments so you want to click on this and if you don't know what it is it's actually just giving you a, a detailed overview of how your channel's been doing over the past 28 days. It tells you all the, the watch time, the views, how many subscribers you've gained. And obviously you've got your content, which of course obviously uh, is how well your videos are doing. Which of course, again, all the same usual stuff. Got all the different content over here. And then of course you've got your research. And that's just like... Uh, I don't know, not really that much. But yeah, we want to go into our audience here. So, what we actually want to find is this little um, graph area over here. You might not be able to see it, but I think what I'll do is I'm actually going to um, just quickly pause the video and then come back once I've actually changed it to white. Right, that looks a lot more better, so we can actually have a little look more clearly. Now, over here, on the left-hand side, you've actually got a little graph area or yeah, it's like a graph area, and this actually tells you when your viewers are on YouTube. And you can actually see we've actually got a little bit of a key going on here. There's like pinky and purple colours. So the light, the really, really um, light pink is there's hardly any viewers that are online during this time. You can see nobody's not going to be able to be uh, uh, staying up in the morning and watching YouTube because, of course, I'm definitely one of those people that won't be able to stay up in the morning in the early hours so of course nobody's going to be online uh, during this period and you can see here it starts to get a little bit uh, busy around about uh, towards lunchtime and 
you know, around about 11ish and that. But for me, I like to upload my YouTube videos a little bit later than usual because you can see here this dark purple section, all these purple uh, coloured blocks, rectangles, I mean, is when your viewers are mainly online. So many of them are online. So that's why I like to um, keep an eye on this little um, graph so I can actually then go to myself, right. Once I've got that video finished, I'm then going to schedule that video uh, for a later time so people can actually um, find that video uh, online at a suitable time and of course that is when uh, the channel will get even more views. So you want to try and keep your videos online around about the early hours in the evening, definitely not too late or too early, you want it to be a bound in the middle so that's why I actually like to um, uh, keep my videos online between around about four to seven or, or or maybe even eight so that's the time period that I like to um, upload uh, my videos because of course that's when uh, mainly the viewers are free around that time so that's why I actually like to keep uh, coming back and having an idea of when to schedule each video so that's mainly uh, all for this video it's just a little uh, video just um, just talking about how I actually like to schedule the videos, just going through all those different um, advices and tips. So I, so I go to myself, right, this is when uh, I can then upload my video and of course schedule it uh, for the next few days. And then of course you want to try and do as many videos as you can, try and keep them uh, a few days from each other so you can then uh, see how well your channel's doing. Uh, getting more views and of course allowing the audience to catch up on some of the videos that you've actually done So yeah, that is literally it then. Thank you very much for watching uh, There's loads of videos to come online in the next few weeks really really exciting as we make our way uh, towards the final Months of 2023 and beyond So thank you very much for watching and remember keep on filming and keep on editing. See you all very soon Bye for now